What's up you guys, this is JP, and today I'm gonna answer a question from one of my subscribers. So on my daily and weekly undulating periodization video. It was just a video I went over and I kind of broke down that progression scheme of weekly and daily undulating periodization. I had a comment from Rano Man and it was actually a really good comment. It was a really in-depth comment and even though I replied to him in the comment, it was kind of hard to kind of break down because this is another question that one, I can answer, but two, I can give you guys some insight into how fitness is not so black and white. There's a lot of gray area and this will kind of give you guys some insight into how a, a trainer thinks or how an expert thinks or how someone who's in this field who, you know, does their due diligence, you know, tries to be good at it, thinks in regards to when they get a question like this. So, Random Man, thank you for the question. Um, he gave me permission to answer this question and do a video. But the question is, is he said, hey man, how do you determine the total amount of sets to use? Are we always using the same sets for each rep range or are we doing it in a way that they are close in total reps day to day? So breaking down that first part where he says, how many, he said, how do you determine the total amount of sets to use? So this can, first, you can, you can do this two ways. You can either look at expert opinion and, and their experience. So we're just looking at experience, my experience and working with people, another expert's experience with working with people and what they've kind of determined from just working with people in the field, in the trenches, that practical experience. But then you can also look at the research. I don't want to bog down the video too much, but the two kind of landmark meta-analyses or studies were done by Schoenfield and Ralston. Both of them each came to their own conclusion and that in the Schoenfeld study is that 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week is optimal for hypertrophy. And then in the Ralston study, it was five to 12 sets uh, per exercise or lift per week to maximize strength adaptations. So 10 to 20 sets per week per muscle group for hypertrophy and five to 12 sets per week per lift for strength. Now again, even though these are the highest forms of, of evidence, uh, a meta-analysis is a study of studies, Again, it doesn't matter how good a study is, a study is only going to kind of uh, give us a, a direction to go and it's going to be telling us averages. A study is not going to be telling us what we should do indefinitely forever with every single person that we come into contact with. Um, so again, you can't take a study and say, oh, I'm going to stick to this for forever because again, a study is not on one individual person and individual uh, differences, they just vary widely. I think there are some studies showing that some people made gains in, high, in muscle mass all the way up to 30 or 40 sets per muscle group per week. So think about that. That's almost double what the uh, Schoenfeld meta-analysis kind of told us. So you got to think there are outliers and you kind of have to take that into consideration. So his first question of, uh, let me reread that again, is how many sets, he said, how do you determine the total amount of sets to use? Again, I would start it off by combining those two things, combining what you learn practically as a coach. And I don't know, I don't think Random Man's a coach. So, um, and you can use that experience. And again, that's kind of like just starting low. So if we're going off your practical experience or my practical experience, always start on the safer side of things. So you can kind of, let's just say you go into the gym and, and build a program that's very reasonable. Don't do nothing too crazy. You create three or four exercises, three sets for each exercise, start at 12 sets for the total workout. Um, and then just maybe have three or four workouts per week and just build from there and only you know, add a set when you feel like you need to add a set. Again, you're not gonna be able to add sets forever. You can't just kind of add a set every single week because think about it, if you added a set every single week, you're gonna quickly get to a point where you're doing 50, 60, 70 sets a week and that is one, impossible to do in the long term, but I think that's almost impossible to do for some people even in a single workout. So again, I would only add sets when you have to. And remember, there's gonna be a cap on how many sets that you can add in the long run. A lot of your volume progression or um, progress made in gains and hypertrophy or strength is gonna be directly from adding weight to the bar in the long term. Because again, you can always add weight to the bar if you're getting stronger. You can't always add a set that's gonna cap out 
you know, relatively soon. So on the practical side from getting experience, you can just do that. Start small, try to add weight to those exercises and only add a set when you feel like you're recovering well, you're, you're not having any sleep problems, your nutrition's good. If everything else is on point and you find that you're stalling, and you can't add any more weight to the bar and you have room and time and you know the motivation to add a set for a couple exercises then i would add a set now if we're taking if we're looking at the scientific literature and we're going off those studies that we showed what you can do is when you're looking at your sets you want to look at a weekly totality and go from there so if we're for hypertrophy if we're looking at the show and field meta-analysis we can say, okay, 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week. That's a range right there. So that's per muscle group per week. So we're saying 10 to 20 sets for chest, 10 to 20 sets for back, 10 to 20 sets for arms, 10 to 20 sets, and by arms, you could say biceps and triceps, um, and 10 to 20 sets for legs. You could break it down like that and keep it simple. For a beginner, start more on the bottom side of that rep range, start at closer to 10 sets per muscle group per week. If you're, just, if you're someone who's been lifting for a while, you might wanna start in the middle or towards the, the top end of that range, 15 or up to 20 sets per muscle group per week, and then adjust accordingly. If let's just say you're building a program and for chest, you have, let's just say you have three upper body workouts and in each upper body workout, you have six chest exercises. So six, six, and six. But remember, you have other muscle groups you're trying to hit in those upper body workouts too. But let's just say you did that for every muscle group, but we're talking about chest specifically in this example. Let's just say you try to do that and then you go for a month or two and you find that you're really beat up, the workouts are too long, you're getting poor sleep, it's just not working well for you. You might need to pull back a little bit and that's okay. So you can kind of use the scientific literature as kind of like an open field as to where you can move at in the field and adjust from there based off how you feel and uh, how you're progressing, um, whether it's your goals in hypertrophy or your goals in strength. So for his first answer, that's what I would say is you use your practical experience, start low and increase from there or use the research pick somewhere in the research and then adjust accordingly based off your, uh, you know, your individual kind of response to uh, how many sets you're doing per week. Now, that was your first question was, how do you de determine the total amount of sets to use? Your second question was, are we always using the same sets for each rep range or are we doing it in a way that they are close in total reps day to day? Um, so for the first half of that question, are we always using the same sets for each rep range? You don't have to. Going, and that's why I covered the first part first. If you're doing, uh, let's just say you're, let's just say you're you're someone in your goals hypertrophy, or or let's just say you're a hybrid athlete. We'll kind of combine both. Let's just say because you said that you want to get strong and you want to um, gain muscle too. So if you're someone who wants to get strong and gain muscle, you don't need to try to equate the sets on a day to day on a day to day basis within the week. Nor you do you need to equate the sets per per rep range. Um, I would just look at the totality of sets for the week and fit your sets within that totality uh, for the week. So let's just say you're someone who says, okay, I see the rep range and I'm gonna try to do 18 sets on chest per week. Just start there just for the start of it because I've been lifting for a while and I'm gonna adjust from there. So let's just say that's your starting point. Now, let's just say since you're trying to get strong but you're also trying to gain muscle, let's just say you you have six sets on your first upper body day that are devoted to strength. And let's just say your those six sets are uh, going to be for, you know, uh, those there's gonna be like top, uh, top doubles. Let's just say each set is just a double. So it's two reps heavier because you're trying to maximize strength adaptations. So that's six sets for the rep range of just two on the lower lower rep range, heavier weight side of things. Now on your other uh, on your other two days, you have another six sets and another six sets. But and you can have, for example, you could have evenly distributed like that: six sets on heavy, six sets for the moderate rep ranges, and you could have six sets, for example, on uh, the the higher rep ranges. So let's just say you have your six doubles, then you have your six rep ranges for the eight to twelve rep range, um, more of the bodybuilder rep range. Um, and then you have six sets for everything over 15 reps. You could divide it evenly like that, or you can kind of get a little bit more nuanced with it and think, okay, we know that high rep sets are very fatiguing. If you've ever done a high rep set, you know that it's kind of borderline cardio and it's very difficult. So knowing me, I wouldn't divide it up evenly like that. You can if that's what you wanna do, just showing you that there's no black and white thinking. But for me, I probably would 
everything over 15 reps, I would probably limit that to maybe four sets. So let's just say out of the 18 sets for the week for chest, you could take, you could take four of those sets over 15 reps. And because it's a higher rep set, we know that we need to probably take these higher rep sets closer to failure. So these sets are gonna be very fatiguing. And, and if it's on a different exercise like squats, especially you don't wanna be doing crazy amount of sets, higher reps for squats, because that's just gonna be very taxing. I mean, one hard set of 20 for me on a barbell with a back squat makes me feel like I wanna puke. So I couldn't imagine doing six sets like that. So if we were getting a little more, more nuanced for those higher rep sets, I would probably stick to three or four sets for that. So that leaves us with 14 sets left so if I'm trying to emphasize strength for me a little bit more but I still want to make gains of muscle mass I might say uh, I want eight singles instead of eight doubles so I'll have eight singles on bench press because I really want to get strong you could work with eight singles that's not too crazy so because we have eight singles on day one and on the third day we have four sets for the higher rep sets that leaves us right now with a plus four that's 12 sets so we still have six sets left six sets is a pretty good amount of sets for chest um, for that second middle day of the week for the upper to divide more to that middle rep ranges. And because we have six sets, I might want to split that six sets up with two different exercises, so three and three. So when you think about it, I'm not forcing myself to be equal in the amount of sets per the rep ranges. So if you kind of think if you kind of force yourself or pigeonhole yourself into feeling like you have to equate, you know, the sets per the rep range you're gonna kind of limit yourself. So you gotta use a little bit of critical thinking to kind of break that down, kind of like how I did right now in my example. So you might not end up with equal sets and that's okay. Now for the second half of your question, you said, or are we doing it in a way that they are close in total reps day to day? You don't need to equate total reps day to day at all. And the example that I just gave where I said, okay, I would probably do eight singles for a bench. That's only eight reps, okay? But because um, I'm doing singles, I can do that many sets, it's not gonna be that taxing, and these are gonna be heavier loads. If I try to equate reps with heavy loads to reps of higher, uh, you know, higher reps and lower loads, that's gonna be ridiculously too hard to balance out. Think about it, if I'm doing on that third day where I have the four sets of higher reps, so let's just say I'm doing 20 reps on each set, that's 80 reps I'm doing on, th on day three for chest. and. On day one, I told you that I'm doing eight singles. That's only eight reps. There's no way I'm gonna be able to equate reps on day one to day three because it's just not feasible. A better way to equate things is set to set. You can do it that way if you're trying to equate at all. Like I said, you don't need to have even sets, but if you are, let's just say we're ignoring the, uh, we're ignoring the first day for a little bit and we're looking at day two and day three. If you're trying to equate, okay, I want equal hypertrophy on, on each of these days, you wouldn't equate reps, you would equate hard sets. And we actually, there was a study that looked at that where the, are we allowed to, or can we equate set to set and see if it matches up with you know equal gains. And they showed that you can, but there were a few caveats for hypertrophy at least. It had to be between six and 20 reps, and it had to be within three reps of failure, which makes sense because we know that volume has like a dose response relationship with hypertrophy up to a point. So again, so you can equate sets um, to see if you're making gains on even days or to kind of make sure you're managing fatigue. But don't try to quantify reps on different days with different rep ranges because it's just gonna be an uphill battle that you're not gonna be able to win and there's no point of doing that anyways. So, I know that was a long video. If you have any questions, comments, anybody, random man, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. For other fitness related content, go to my website.